Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So today we're gonna be checking out a brand new feature in the August 2020 update of Adobe XD. And if you're an experienced designer and somebody who involves themselves in a subset of, of experience design, which is usability testing, then you're gonna love this because it's just for you. And it's called multiple flows. Basically, it allows you to set up different artboards in an efficient manner that allows you to send off different links of the same Adobe XD document, which allows you to create different iterations of a design in order to see which iteration of that design is more acceptable um, or more preferable to your test subjects as a part of your UX design. Now, that's a lot of verbiage, so it's just best for me to show you in the application. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. All right, so let's say for instance, you have a design here. This is like a desktop design. Um, and this is actually a project I created for a video that Brad Traversy uploaded uh, from a tutorial created on his channel a few weeks ago. And let's say for instance, you know, we have only two artboards here. We have like a, the main landing page and a sub page here. And we want to real quickly make this button go to here when somebody clicks on it. So if we click play to play the prototype, all right, not that exciting. Now, let's say for instance, you know, this is a really serious project, um, either for a client uh, or for yourself, and you being a great UXer, uh, somebody who's a user experience designer, understand that uh, before maybe you get to the front end development process where you take your design, you send it to a front end developer if it's not yourself already, and you convert it to HTML and CSS and JavaScript to make a function in different devices and browsers. Let's say, for instance, before you get to that point, you understand there's a it's it makes a good it's a good idea to present the client uh, with a number of options uh, in terms of the home page. Maybe you're not going to use this graphic right here. Maybe you might use something else to see if they like that. But maybe you're even smarter than that, and you take it out of the client's hands. You take it out of your hands as a designer because we all know or most of us at least, we all know that we're not perfect and we don't make all the perfect decisions. And let's say that you decide to have uh, a number of individuals test it for you, all right? They're gonna use your prototype. So before this latest update, if you wanted to have multiple variations of your design or your flow, so to speak, uh, you would have to basically replicate all the artboards and you would have to send different links uh, to shareable links to those individuals who are performing the tests for you. Um, right now with this new feature, we don't have to do that. So let's say for instance, as a part of usability testing, you wanna test this graphic right here, this photograph of this road. Now notice we have the accompanying text where it says the road less traveled. Um, what if we use a different picture? Will that at all resonate more so when compared against each other with the people who are performing the test for you when they're, they're using the, your design for the first time. Um, of course, it doesn't have to be this photograph. It could be the text right here. It could be the ad copy. It could be the color of this button. It could be many different things. Uh, and this is one such test that you would perform. Did, would you know using this road graphic versus something else make more sense? And so this is where this new feature really shines through. So what we're going to do is we will alt and replicate this artboard. By the way, I'll provide an XD link and you can follow along if you wish. You don't have to though. Um, and we're going to go ahead and make a change right here. Um, so right now, as you can see, when we replicate the artboard, of course, it's going to remember all the connections that are created. So this, there's one that's automatically created here as well. Now we're gonna go back to the design and now we're gonna make our change to this artboard. This could be you know, changing this button color, could be anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this element right here. And then I'm just going to drag in, oh, before I do that, we're gonna create a, uh, a container that we can put the graphic into right there get rid of that annoying border that's added every time. There we go. And we'll just drag it in there. All right, so right now it's sitting on top of it, everything. We'll go ahead and drag it down. Me personally, there's not enough contrast here with this button and the way this uh, photograph is oriented. So all I'll do is 
double click and now we have a bunch of white space here. So that's a pretty cool photo, right? I think both of these are really cool. Uh, the way this one works in with the designs kind of flows nice, but then we have more of like a, a much more photograph realist feel to this one. Maybe we can bring this up a bit. There we go. But and so as designers, we have to put our assumptions as aside and we have to let real people use the design, right? Um, and that's what usability testing you know, is all about. So um, what we would do now at this point is come here in order to use this, we're gonna go ahead and just click on this artboard and then you see this little icon, we're going to click it. So you can notice it says flow one right there. You can double click this and change it if you want the title. I'm gonna leave it at flow one. Then I'm gonna come over here, double click this. Uh, I guess you don't have to double click it, single click, flow two. So now we have two of our flows right here. And notice if I move this one, this one moves around. And so now, the way this works is we could choose to play this one starting here. Oops, let me, well, we'll just go over here. Or we could choose uh, this one to start there. But what's really cool is if we go to share, we can now see, we can, we can select flow one and we can create a link specifically for flow one. So once we click that, it's gonna create the public link and then we can copy this. Then flow two, as you can see, we can create the link and we'll have an entirely separate URL that we can now share between two of these variations. And that, that is the sense, you know, in essence, the actual uh, feature that they've uh, integrated. So that is very cool. I would really like it though in the future, perhaps if they made um, an automated system where if, when you click play, maybe it will do an automatic, uh, It'll switch between version A and B between people who are sitting there. I'm not, I'm not sure how that would work really, um, but that's how it works like in a real world environment in the browser. Um, but anyhow, I really think it's a it's a great feature. It's a step in the, in the right direction for sure. Um, and yeah, very awesome. All right, so hopefully now you're receptive to this really cool new feature that Adobe XD has integrated um, with every update, it becomes a little bit more complex. So I'm just really excited to be able to very soon release an Adobe XD course along with a Figma course, their competitor. And yeah, you're definitely gonna know, make sure you subscribe. You'll get that notification, of course, if you're subscribed. So as always, I will see you soon and goodbye.